Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today we are going to look at Arnold's very first triceps program, which he used whilst training early in his career in Europe, and which no doubt helped him develop his monstrous arms. I previously brought you Arnold's very first biceps program, which helped him grow his arms from 13 inches to 19 inches, and that included the use of two exercises, namely the cheating barbell curl and the Zotman curl. Even early on in his career, Arnold always considered his triceps as a weak point, so it is interesting to learn that his first triceps routine consisted of mainly mass building exercises. In an interview from Muscle Mag International, Arnold describes his program in training his triceps as well as his mentality in training his triceps. Quote, My triceps took a long time to catch up to my biceps because of my ignorance. I totally neglected my triceps the first couple of years of training. I did not realize that two thirds of upper arm mass comes from full triceps development. End quote. Similar to his routine for biceps, in that he only employed two exercises, for triceps, again, Arnold only did two exercises whilst training in Austria and Germany. They were the close grip bench press and triceps pushdowns on the lat machine. These two tricep exercises were the only movements he used to help bring his arms up from 13 inches to 19 inches. The close grip bench press is a staple exercise for developing overall triceps mass and strength and was used by many golden era bodybuilders for this particular reason. The fact that it hits all three heads of the triceps makes it a favored exercise for developing the complete muscle of the triceps. On top of that, it greatly benefits other pressing movements such as the bench press and shoulder press as one of the limiting factors in these pressing movements is the strength of the triceps. By progressively increasing both the mass and strength of the triceps using the close grip bench press, golden era bodybuilders like Arnold would have the added benefit of having their strength in these pressing movements also go up as a consequence of practicing the close grip bench press, and in doing so, this would also indirectly aid the development of their chest and shoulder muscles, as is especially obvious in Arnold, who developed one of the best chests in bodybuilding history. Nowadays, within the powerlifting circuit, if your numbers stall in the pressing motions, one recommendation is always to increase one's tricep strength. Again, as tricep strength can be the limiting factor that prevents both numbers in the bench press and shoulder press from going up, powerlifters opt to use the close grip bench press to add mass and strength to the triceps so that their numbers in these pressing movements can go up. Now, how is it that Arnold performed the close grip bench press? Well, he liked to perform it with elbows close to the body and lowering the barbell to the lower pec line. Arnold would typically perform six sets, performing 10 to 20 reps each set. Arnold preferred not to lock out on close grip bench presses either, and in doing so, he would better activate the triceps and keep the muscle under tension. Triceps pushdowns on the lat machine was also performed by Arnold as a mass building exercise, although because of the increased extension in the range of motion of this exercise, it tends to target the medial and lateral head a little bit more, improving then the appearance of the triceps in that it gives that wonderful horse shape effect that is so desired in the triceps by bodybuilders. Back during Arnold's time though, most bodybuilders would only have the lat machine to work with and therefore use the lat bar on the lat machine to perform straight bar pushdowns. Nowadays, of course, we have the option of performing the triceps pushdown with a variety of different attachments, including rope pulleys, etc. However, understand that because at the time Arnold was looking to gain mass, the straight bar allowed him to use serious poundage on the lat machine, and this was his preferred method of performing the exercise. Arnold would typically perform six sets of 10 to 20 reps again, and unlike the close grip bench press, he would choose to lock out in this exercise specifically to bring his medial and lateral head into play, thereby giving that wonderful horse shape effect, accentuating 
the horse-shaped effect of the triceps muscle. Now, although Arnold would win two NABBA Universe titles against European competition, he would lose to Frank Zane in the IFBB 1968 Mr. Universe in the US and realize that his overall physique was not up to par with the world's best. Arnold would subsequently train at Vince's gym where he would refine his physique under the guidance of the Iron Guru, Vince Gironda, and later at Gold's Gym. I will of course talk about his subsequent programs that he used in the US, which eventually brought him Olympia glory. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video on Arnold's first triceps routine. And if you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and please leave me your comments. What other things would you like me to cover about Arnold? What other body parts? Would you like me to cover his cycles? Please let me know in the comment section. Anyway, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning Arnold's original bodybuilding training and nutrition principles, please visit my website for a full collection of booklets, including his arms and chest training programs available at www.goldenerabookworm.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts and Larry Scott and much much more and select your poster now. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.